Hi there, Chris Kellett with 123Muse here, and we're going to take a look at the cookie consent widget that we've just released. However, let's take a look at um, why we actually need this widget. Now, if you're using websites or building websites for clients within the EU, you will need to allow the visitors to the site to choose whether they want cookies installed on their machines when they're browsing the site. And uh, so the cookie consent is an essential part of EU law. Now, most websites will be accessed um, all over the world. So more than likely your sites will be used in the EU as well. So it's important that you have the ability to implement the cookie consent. So if we just take a look here, this is a really good little site here that explains the um, the EU law itself and is a really simple straightforward um, way of understanding. You can also convey this to your customers as well so that they understand why you're going to use this and it may be a source of uh, revenue as well to ensure that older sites comply with the EU cookie law um, and by you taking those sites and implementing this you may be able to charge your customers some more time for doing that for them. So it could be a revenue stream as well. So take a look at this site. You can see it's cookielaw.org. Now let's take a look at the widget itself. Okay, so if I create, if I open up this uh, demo here, we're going to open up this sample per page here. And we're going to, it's just a, a sample page that we've put together just to make it look and feel like a web page. And we're going to grab our cookie consent widget and drag it onto the page. And the first thing you can see is that we have this general settings here. And we want to uh, just, we want to make sure that you choose a style. So we've, we've blocked off all the controls until you choose a style. So let's choose a style. So this is, let's choose um, the dark floating style. And that will put the, let's close this down. That will put the widget in this corner here when the page opens up. So let's just uh, preview that straight away. And you can see here that the widget currently isn't showing up. Now, the reason for that is that there's a little bit of a glitch in the new version of Muse sometimes with JavaScript uh, activating when uh, our MooCows have different kind of um, code sets in them, sometimes they don't activate. So we've made it very simple to do that. All you need to do is click the custom code, the custom look on and off. So now when we preview, we can see our cookie consent code opens up. So that's great, that's working. Now let's take a look at the settings. So we've got a few different settings. We've got um, the dark and the light theme. So we've got dark top, that would put the banner at the top of the page. Let's take a look at that. Hit preview. And we can see that this slides our content down and makes it very clear, with the, especially with the yellow button on the dark background, makes it very clear and easy for people to see it. Now let's take a look at the dark base or dark bottom and when we preview that you can see here that um, it shows up at the bottom and wherever we are on the page that will show up. So that's either one of those, all three of those in fact are very clear for the person to be able to see it. So you could just use the default styles built in. Let's take a look at one of the light ones. Let's take a look at light floating and hit preview. And we can see here that it's just this nice light look to it. And again, on a darker site, that would show up nice and clear to make sure that people clicked on the whether they wanted the cookies or not. Okay, so looking at the settings here, we've got a privacy policy URL. So on your client site or on your site where their privacy policy sits, you need to put the full URL in there. And that means that when somebody previews or when somebody looks at the site, sorry, and it says more info. So this website uses cookies to ensure you get the best experience on our website, more info that, that would take them through to the privacy policy. 
So that's an essential thing that you need to do. So you need a privacy policy page and you also need to ensure that your client has a legal privacy policy. So um, there's a really good site called Rocket Law that you can get um, good, uh, a good, uh, good price on um, custom privacy policies that you generate online yourself. So take a look at that. Then we want the ex the cookie expiration in day. So how long do you want this cookie to reside on that person's computer? So it will auto destroy itself after 30 days or after one day or if or, or 365 days, whatever you want. So you need to think about that. Then we have the text on the actual widget itself. So got it. So in that yellow button that we saw, it says got it. That's where that text is there. The more info to go to the privacy policy, that's there. And of course, the text that says that this website uses cookies, that's there. So you can modify that. And especially if you need to modify it to a different language, you've got those capabilities there. Now, if we close the general settings down and open up the custom look, you can see everything's grayed out at the moment. So we need to just switch the custom look button on. And if I just move this up out here, we should be able to preview to see the entire, there we go. Okay, let's do that again. Close general, there we go, at custom, right. So what do we have here? Well, we can change the entire font set um, for the um, the widget itself. And we wanted to make this as simple as possible so we can use Google Fonts. And we'll show you how to do that in a minute, but let's just run through the settings here. The font weight, um, the font size, and the line height. So if you are, depending on the font that you're using, you may need to change the line height. So you can do that there. The corner button radius, so whether you want it square, rounded, completely round, and so on the background color of the full unit, the background text color the, um, of, of the, of the, for the widget itself. So you've got your background color and then the text sitting on top. The button background color, so you see currently it's at yellow, and the text that sits on top of that. Then what color it goes when it, you hover over it, so the hover state, and the color of the text. And then finally, if I can Get that to show up here. Finally, we have the link text color, so the more info and what happens when you hover over it. So let's go ahead now and change the font. So first of all, let's uh, bring up our browser. And we're just going to go to Google Fonts. And rather than put a big long list in there, and the list changes, we thought the easiest way to give you the capability to change the font style was in, in the following way. So let's say, for instance, this Roboto Condensed, which is a popular um, font for um, Google properties. So let's add that to our collection, and then we'll click Use. So we're going to choose the Light 300 here. And all we need to do is grab, once we've selected which one, we just want to choose one of these font styles. And we can see that it's, going, it's not going to impact the page very much at all. And we'll just choose this piece of code here. And then we're gonna go back to our widget and open up the custom look and paste the code into there. That's that done. Let's just go back to our site here. And then where it says integrate the fonts into CSS, let's just grab that and go back to the, the widget, open up the custom look and paste that in the CSS code. Now we've chosen the 300, the font weight of 300. So we'll leave that there. And I'm just going to change the line height to 18. And that's that done. So now when we preview, we can see that we're now using this nice new font style. Let's also now change some other settings. So I'm gonna change the background to, um, let's change it to a nice, let's say this gray here, change it to this gray, and we'll leave the white on top there. We're gonna change the button to uh, our 123Muse red, we'll leave that there, and then we'll change the hover state to the blue, change that to the white, and we'll leave everything else the same. Let's go ahead now and preview the widget. 
and we can see here now we've got our nice colors and everything's working great. So it's a very easy widget to implement and of course if we wanted to change the look of it, if we just go to let's say dark top, what it will do is although because it's pulling in the style for the dark top, but we we've, we've reset the styles, we're going to be able to pull in our custom look with the um, consent cookie actual layout. So let's have a look at the floating bottom one here. And then let's take a look at the dark bottom here. And if we went and chose the light, so if we choose the light layout, so if I choose light top, for example, then there's some slight changes. We get this light, this white line around it and so on. So there's lots you can do with it. And of course, this will ensure then that your client site is fully EU law um, capable, as long as you've got the privacy policy, of course, on the site as well. So it's a nice, easy widget to use, and I hope you enjoy using it. And thanks for watching.